Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh. He said, what? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She said, what? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But naked on the bed habit. Ba -ya -ba -ya -ba. Now trip out, man. In the menudo style and direct fashion, we're going to get straight to it. I said, I'm tired of going back and forth with people. I said, I'm not trying to feed into the frivolousness, but I'm going to defend myself, man. I'm going to defend my, my, my honor, Esther. I'm going to defend the truth. <laughs> and this guy, Bubba Butt 100, come on, bro. Stop it. Oh, no, you didn't, Willis. Right? On Pyro. And I fuck with some real Pyro's, right? You need to stop already, bro. Don't act like all of a sudden we're best friends. Don't act like this was some conspiracy theory against American Cholo. Don't act. Don't act. I said, don't act. Like you're somebody. Look, ain't nobody clout chasing you. Ain't nobody going out of their way to tend to your needs or to stroke your ego or what you got going on. I could care less about you and your yelling over each other club, man. I ain't never been on no clubhouse. I ain't never going to be on no clubhouse. It's, I live in a house, not in a clubhouse. I ain't no Mickey Mouse Gatier. But one thing I will say for sure, butt naked on the bed talking to fucking whoever you're talking to, right? That's the real question. Um... It seems like all of a sudden, WAC 100 is trying to drag me into something that doesn't involve me. Oh, I involved myself to a certain element, to a certain degree. But this bottle's trying to act like we're bestie, be like we're besties all of a sudden. That's it. I don't even know this bottle like that. Now trip out. Benza, let's take it all the way back. When I first started this YouTube shit, I did a story. And the story I did was about Fred C. Nellis and about WAC 100 having been there. And when I did the story, it finally got to him and I wasn't slandering him and I wasn't hating on him. And I was actually speaking highly of him and speaking about him throwing hands and doing what he does. Cause, and at the end of the day, he said, man, I don't know that gangbanger. I don't know that Mexican, right? He had something to say, always something to say about the Raza, always denying who he knows and who he don't know. Right. And I understand that's a business move. I understand he's used to making executive decisions and he made an executive decision that day to deny uh, culpability of having known me when I was just showing him love. Well, fuck you straight up. Okay. Let's get that out the way. First and foremost, it is what it is. I let that go. I continue to speak on trending topics and do what I does. Cause at the end of the day, sometimes I said, sometimes it involved him. He's the one that's always constantly calling people out or getting called out and never showing up for a fade and this and that and running from the sixties and all whatever he says. And he does right. Um, and I sat back like anyone else watching YouTube and spoke my piece on it. Gave them my two cents. Gave them my perspective on the situation. And nothing more, nothing less. I had no ill will or no animosity towards this individual. Other than he calling me a gangbanger and a Mexican, right? I am a Mexican, so it's all good, right? But what I did have a problem with was how he kept bullshitting the hand and the people for views, right? They say, Gunner, you're a bullshitter. You lie. You do this. You do that. Man, look at WAC 100. That motherfucker got me covered like a state blanket, itchy, better, warm, right? He's doing it on a whole nother level, a whole nother level. New video. Let me tell you, the first time I was ever in contact with this individual, I have a, I have a mutual friend. I guess you could call him a mutual friend. He don't really fuck with whack too much, but he knows whack like that. And he was like, hey, and I was like, man, I would love to get whack 100 on, you know, for an interview to ask him some questions. There's some hard questions that want to be asked people that want answers to and there's some questions i want to ask them maybe i could remind them you know remind your own or your own will remind you maybe i could remind them of knowing me maybe i could and this ain't cloud chasing this is just a simple conversation but let's have it in a public platform let's make some money let's fucking talk about some real things answer some of the questions that the rasa needs to be answered man that was it that was my whole intention okay so we all know about so anyways the homeboy shoots me his number i didn't reach out Forgot all about it. Kind of just did my own thing. I was on my own agenda doing what I did, right? Um, and that one day we were having a live myself and dubs and that Three Finger Wax song came on. Okay, his new song. Because I guess Jay Diggs is going at it with Wack 100 and everybody was speaking on talking about it to which Wack 100 has uh, quietly turned down that fade. Um, won't knock on Jay Diggs' door. That's a promise, right? Um, likes to go to other people's houses while they're at work, but when it comes to the digs, right? Oh hell no, nah. he don't want, he don't need none of that, right? So he bounces back like a like a a, a, a crawdad, right? Anyways, trip out. So we decided for no other reason after hearing that song, we gonna clown a little bit. We gonna 
we're going to prank call Wack, right? Or we're just going to call him and see where his head's at. Not expecting him to pick up the phone, not expecting him to even answer a couple messages, right? But he did. And when he did, his whole level of speaking was different. He was respectful. We conversated like YA babies. We reminisced on some of the people we knew. There was no reason to... He switched it up on us. He's playing chess when other people are playing checkers, right? And that is why we kept the tone and the energy that matched his. That is why we didn't disrespect or go in on him. I know a lot of people say, oh, you were starstruck. You were a fanboy of WAC 100. Have you seen how ugly that motherfucker is? He ain't no Leonardo DiCaprio as say, I'm the king of the world. No, he's just some little short, fat, big butted motherfucker from wherever he's from, right? Respects to his area, but at the same time, fuck him. Now look, we had the conversation we thought it was a good conversation. Some questions got asked and answered. Some didn't. Now, after that, a lot of people went in on myself and Dubs. A lot of people, especially the Raza, and I understand and I recognize and I see. I see now why. Why didn't you ask him this question? Why didn't you ask him that question? And Spence on Latira, Holmes, when it's just the spur of the moment, sometimes, and I mean sometimes, you don't know what particular question to ask. You don't know how it's going to go down. You just roll with the punches and it is what it is. And when it's a natural conversation, it goes, we, hey, when it comes to whack, you could be talking about blue face one minute and Bud Light the next. Come on now, whack. Step your game up, right? You just never know. Anyways, the conversation stirred itself and it went where it went. And some questions that should have been asked, asked didn't get asked. Bensa, again, I fucked up. I apologize, right? Um, and that was it. That was just it. That was the gist of it. Um, the next couple days, what happened was I decided to text WAC 100 and I asked them, I said, Hey man, I got a lot of hate. The haters were out. They told me up. People were, uh, they were on me, not just the Rasa, but everybody was on me. Um, let's do this one time again. You know, let's have another conversation. Cause about this time that I had texted him, there was a lot of other things going on. He was getting involved with the Lupe fiasco, you know, getting, damn, that's a good one, huh? He was getting involved with the Lupe stuff. He was getting involved with CMAT, whatever the case may be. Anyways, I text him like, hey bro, you know, the haters was hating on me. Thinking that because we had that mutual conversation ended on a good note that he would fuck with me like that. Never text back, right? Uh oh, there's holes in your relationship shit. Uh, ain't no one want a relationship with you, whack. He didn't text back. So I let, I let it go. No big deal. Okay. I talked to our mutual friend a couple weeks later. Right. And I'm like, Hey bro, whatever happened, whack that motherfucker didn't text me back. He said, I'll call that fool right now. It was eight in the morning. We chop it up early after a nice little workout. Right. He's like, I'll call him right now. He calls whack 100 and I quote whack 100 said, man, it's too early for this shit on power. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Right. He was all tripping out because we called him early. Spencer Humps, You already know we're up in Adam Humps. At top of the top, top of the top, it's top of the AM and we're already getting it. We're getting to that bag, we're getting to our money homes and we're getting to our familia while he's still fucking sleeping with his butt in the air next to, we don't know who he's next to. Oh, did P. Diddy, right? So now, it is what it is. The homeboy tells me, oh yeah, he's tripping, bro. He calls the homeboy back about an hour later and tells the homeboy, I ain't talking to no more Mexicans. I ain't doing no more interviews or talking to no more Mexicans. I'm cool, right? So the homeboy tells him, that's for you, man. It's all good, homes. You feel how you feel. It is what it is. I say in these exact words, fuck WAC 100. Fuck WAC 100. You know what I mean? I'm cool. It is what it is. I don't dislike or hate the man, but if he ain't talking to no Mexican, then I guess he ain't talking to me. I guess there's some questions we will never get answered. So that goes. Um, and that was the last conversation I had with them or the last any type of correspondence the in between. And that's facts, homes. Um, so now I'm chilling. Doing my own thing. Whack is the last person on my mind. Anyone butt naked on a bed that's a man is never going to be on my mind, right? So I'm, I'm just done. It is what it is. He starts getting into the shit with Lupe. He starts getting into the shit with C-Mac. He starts getting into the shit with, uh, well, he was already going at it with Diggs, right? To which he was scared to pull up. He was already, hey, he sent me, in fact, Spencer, let me rewind that. During the live, if you watch the live, he was talking about he had all these text messages between himself and Diggs. I gave him my email so he could send them to me. He tried to send them to me. He couldn't get them to me. He ended up sending them to Dubs. Dubs sent them to me. Um, I read over them real quick, put them out there. Um, then I heard that uh, he was just making shit up. He has priors of making shit up, of making fake text messages between people, of doing things like that. He believes while we're playing checkers, he's playing chess. He's a master manipulator. That's what Wack does. He calls people out. He talks all that shit. And when it comes time to knuckle up before you buckle up, that uncle don't want that smoke. 
He blames it on other people. Well, I didn't say that. And he breaks it down and sweeps it up under the rug. I bet you his rug is lumpy than a motherfucker, right? That's what he does. On Paru. That's what you do, whack. I talked to your big homeboy, Mr. Golden Bear, Jersey number one. He knows you from way back. And he told me the whole story. He said, you ain't doing none of that, bro. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, man. Just stop already, okay? I don't know you. We didn't collab on nothing. Let's get to the story. Timeline. Message. Trip out guard. I'm keeping it real this morning. So anyways, um, the day, I get, it's about, I don't know, six, seven in the morning, I get a phone call from someone that I respect and, and someone that I know very well. And he tells me, hey, did you hear about this? And you hear about that with American Cholo? People are speaking on this. They're speaking on that. Now, this is some of the conversations that are being held behind the scenes. And I was like, no way, for reals? I got to see that paperwork. There ain't no way. Ain't no how, right? He can't believe it. I can't believe it. The paperwork gets sent to him. He sends it to me immediately. I, I do a one time over. Should have did my due diligence. I've already spoken on that. I apologize. And I don't want to keep that going. But I did it. And I decided to ultimately drop it, right? And I did. Okay, after I dropped it, one of my homegirls gets at me. She texts me. It's all relevant. You just got to listen, listen, right? Listen to the story, right? Tell me if this makes sense. So she calls me and she tells me, or she texts me. She says, now, damn, that was some breaking news. So I call her immediately. We start to chop it up. And another one of my good homeboys, my good friends, calls in. I add them three-way on the line. We're chopping game up. Well, about the same time we're chopping up game, this was like maybe an hour after I had dropped the video on Gil, you know, American Cholo, um, the bullshit video. Um, I'm, I'm regretting it already. I'm seeing people, you know, speaking and, and talking shit and, and I'm regretting it myself. Like, damn, man, I shouldn't have, I, I made a hasty move. I shouldn't have did that. You know, that's on me. So they're trying to, you know, counsel me. Or Dr. Phil's, right? Like, hey, you should, this and that. And everyone's shocked. Nobody knows what's going on. Um, when all of a sudden I get a text, it said, where it is, where it is. And I'm talking to these two individuals on the phone. I go, hey, because we were talking about, I guess, WAC 100 had pulled up or said he pulled up to Gil's pad or whatever the case may be. That came up in the conversation. I was like, for reals? I was like, damn, Gil's having a bad day today, right? That's ugly, right? He really did that? He pulled up like that? And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he texts me out of the blue. I ain't talked to this motherfucker months, right? Since that conversation we had on the, on the live, right? And he said, where it's at. That's what he said, where it's at, right? So I'm thinking, where it's at, where it's at, right? Um, he calls me like 20 seconds later, but here's something you didn't know, whack. Uh-oh, dum, 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 dum. The homeboy and the hunger were on the phone. I told him, hey, put it on mute real quick. Wax calling. They were like, for reals? I said, for reals. Not for fakes, right? For real. He calls. True story. Oh, man, what's up, Gunner? Now he's trying to be all buddy-buddy. I ain't never talked to this motherfucker like that in real life other than that one time we were on the phone. We kept it cool, but I, he ain't never called me by my first name like that. Hey, Gunner, oh, man, what you got? What you got? I said, uh, you know, he said, what I got, he's talking about paperwork, what I got on the American Cholo shit is different from what you got. He must have obviously watched my video, right? And so that compelled him to try to call me to manipulate me into pushing dirt on Gil, right? You never seen it happen, right? Other than me dropping that video. Let's get to it. So anyway, in a minute, we'll start in a direct fashion. We're going to get to it. Come on, Wax, stop. So this motherfucker calls me, Hente, and he's telling me, yeah, what you got? Because what you got is not what I got. I said, oh, I got what I got. You know what I mean? And I said, does yours sound like this? I read a little bit to him. He reads a little bit to me. And and uh, he's like, man, well, fuck that motherfucker, man. Let's bust his ass out right now. Let's go live right now. Let's bust him out. Let's bust him out. And I said, uh, hold up. First of all, this is my raza you're speaking on. I did what I did and I said what I said, but there's no way possible or humanly possible I can go on. I ain't going to lie, man. You know, with the vato like WAC 100, because now my raza is going to look like I'm choosing your side. My raza is going to look like I'm choosing the Africano side. It's going to turn into a racial thing. And I ain't trying to be involved in that, man. I'm about black and brown, but I ain't about that type of black and brown, right? Orderly. Um, so I told him, hey. Let me call you back in an hour, man, or give me a call in an hour. Now, remember, my friends are on the phone. They can vouch and verify, right? Um, after we hang up, after he hangs up, you know, I said, man, that motherfucker's tripping, right? Shit, he's trying to put me, get me in a cross worse than I already put myself in. I'm cool with that shit, right? I call my homeboy. I hang up with them. I call my homeboy. I tell him, hey, WAC 100 just called me. He wants to go live. He wants me to go live with them and expose Gil and all that. I already put out the video, bro. In fact, I'm thinking of taking that motherfucker down, right? I ain't trying to get involved in any more than I already am. 
And uh, he said, nah, don't do that, bro. It's going to be a bad look. And he's going to twist it on you and try to make it look like you're disrespecting the raza. That's what he does, right? And I said, yeah, you're right. So I blocked his punk ass. Yes, whack. While other people are over there striving and struggling and hoping they could get your phone number, I blocked you, right? Blip, blip. I didn't want nothing more to do with that. I didn't want to hear what he had to say. I didn't want to conversate about it no more. Whatever you got, whatever you want to choose to put out, you put out whatever I did, I did. I'm going to fucking hold my ground, stand my ground, and apologize like what a real man does. And I did that the very next day. That was the extent of any type of conversation between myself and WAC 100 until now, right? So now I'm kicking back. I think it was yesterday, man. And one of my homeboys were chopping it up on the phone. He's like, oh, you see that shit, WAC 100? Put you all up on Instagram. He's talking shit about you. I said, what? I done made it. What this ain't there? I made it on WAC 100's Instagram. What in the cloud chase, right? I made it. WAC, I made it. You did that. You put me on your shit. 400,000 followers? God damn, I feel like I owe you something. What you, I'm going to go to Dairy Queen. Let's say you want a dipped cone on power. I got you, right? I don't know what I can do for you. I can get you. I can even go... Um, to the store, bro, and I can get you some oxy shit, the oxy pads to wipe your shit. Hopefully, and I mean hopefully, they work, right? I don't know what I can do for you, but anything you need, bro, I got you because you put me on your Instagram. But to what degree of putting me on your Instagram did you do? Well, you slandered my name. You put some text messages and added some shit that wasn't there, just like you did with Jay Dig. Come on, bro. I was not working with you. Now I'm hearing that it's me, you, and Marvelous that are working together. I have not had a conversation with Marvelous since our fucking interview when I did an interview with them. You know, shout out to the homeboy Marv, but I've never sat down and actually had a good conversation with them behind the scenes. I'm sorry. It's real talk, man. I tell the truth. It's real life. I just never have. So to say that we conspired and try to blame it on the Mexicans, right? Stop it, whack. You are the one that pulled up to fucking Gil's door unannounced. You are the one that was going in with him and going at it with him. You are the one that took it as disrespect when he called you a bitch or you called him, whatever you guys did, right? I had nothing and zero to do with that. The only thing and only part that I played in this was somebody, not you, outside of you, sent me some paperwork which I dropped hastily and I was wrong and I apologized to that man for it because that's what real men do. I never went to his pad. I never called him a B.I. I never called him a C.I. I never did that. You did all that, bro. Stop trying to involve me in your bullshit, acting like we're friends all of a sudden and we have this fucking conversation. You be lying, bro. Any rasa or anybody that believes WAC 100, you're a damn fool. That motherfucker right there be lying. He's a fucking liar in a fat mouth. Just like he lied on Jay Diggs. Just let me tell you how much of a liar he is. The other day, he's on the clubhouse or whatever talking about, oh, I just called Cowboy. I had a conversation. Let's call Cowboy from 60s. Want to call him? Trip out on this. Let me see if he answers. We're going to see if WAC 100 called him. I know for sure WAC 100 didn't call him because there's a secret thing that WAC doesn't know that only I know and a few others. Hello. Cowboy, it's good. Hey, what up, my guy? Hey, what's up, man? I'm doing this little video, bro, about this WAC 100 character, man. I just want to know, man, he's putting out there that he called you, bro, the other day. Did he ever call you, bro? Man, never. Hey, hey, never. hey. I got, a, I got a new phone and ain't nobody got my number. Hey, there's only about a handful of us that got your new phone number, right? That's it. Nobody got my number. I mean, my mama ain't even got my number yet. Exactly. So all that bullshit him talking about he called you or he tapped in with you, man, that's bullshit. Oh, boy, I ain't talked to that man since the BET Awards. Exactly, my brother. All right, when man. I seen, when, when I seen him at BET, that's the only time, last time I talked to him. I gave that nigga my number. We ain't talked since. I, I didn't even lock cuz number in. He gave me his number. I didn't even lock it in. Exactly. All right, brother, man. I just wanted to get at you. I'll hit you up later on. Yeah, yeah, either way, go on morning. I'm trying to get some fades out of these dudes now. They trying to line up all these fades, but what about you? What about that fade? Everybody hey. want a fade, but why y'all niggas ain't turning no fade yet? Let me tell you right now, bro, we're going to get to all that right now in the spill. All right, brother. Yeah. Okay, for sure. All, all right, right, late. You be lying, Whack 100. Man, there ain't but five people in this world that have Cowboy's new number. When Cowboy's phone got lost in Vegas last week or a couple weeks ago, that man tapped in with the homeboy on his old lady's phone talking about, man, how do I do my, how do I draw my phone? My shit's fucked up. We said, put it in rice, right? Old school Mexican shit. Put it in rice, right? We're trying to help him out. He ultimately went and got a new phone, shot the homies his new number. Real life, real talk. I'm just saying, man, so all that, oh, I just talked to, stop fronting for views, man. Stop lying, bro. You know, there it was right there. That man said it. He didn't even lock your shit in. He don't even know your number. I do. He don't, right? I, you're blocked on my shit. Because you be lying. 
So like Cowboy was saying, let's get, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's really get to it. Since I have priors of this, right? You done called out Gil. Whether you showed up to his pad or not, I don't know, man, if that's real or it isn't, man. And I'm not here to speak on that. You done called out Jay Diggs and, 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 and try to sweep that under the rug. You ain't pulling up. You ain't trying to ghost ride that with, right? You don't want no smoke with the, with the Bay Area, the, you know, the boss of the Bay. You, we know that. Facts, right? Um, you done called out this guy and that guy and that guy and this guy and, and, and nothing ever happens. Well, guess what? If you want to do a boxing match, if you're truly, truly want to do some type of boxing match in the ring, not no Bosco, no, no, uh, 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 C Mac, no, none of that, you know, turn it up and turn it down. If you really want to do a boxing match, a real life boxing match, no money, whack, no charity, no, none of that, just a boxing match in an empty ass boxing ring. You pull up, I pull up, I'll take that. I ain't going to start down that fade. I ain't trying to call you out for no fade. I'm just saying a civilized boxing match. Since you spoke on my name, Ill Will, and I've spoken on yours in the past, how about we do that? No money involved, Rasa. I'm not trying to manipulate you or burn you or cheat you. We're not working together to try to get in your pockets. I'm talking about we could film this shit on a cricket phone in a fucking dusty arena that we only know about. We could pull up and we could have a boxing match. If that's what you want to do. If not, keep my fucking name out your dentals. Before it gets knocked out your frontals, I ain't scared of no whack 100. Come on, bro. I ain't going to disrespect and whoop on you the whole time. I'm going to say what I'll say, blah, blah, blah. But I ain't going to sit here and just elaborate and disrespect your family and all that. Cause I ain't doing all that. I don't get down like that, right? But stop it, bro. Stop acting like and stop trying to manipulate my people into believing I was working with you to hurt Gil. I did what I did of my own accord. I don't even fucking know you like that. But I can get to know you like that in a ring free. That we could drop on the clubhouse or on my channel. It doesn't matter. Free. No money involved. No pay-per-views. No none of that. No hundred heads here. People, admission, popcorn. So let's get juju bees. None of that, homes. This, that, what it is, man. Stop running, bro. Diggs, if he don't want to do it, I'll do it for the Northern Cali motherfuckers, right? And this ain't North or South, homes. I'm just saying, bro. I'm coming from where I'm coming from. Where you at, whack? And don't talk all this high power shit and make up lies and fucking make fake emails and fake things, bro. Because the only thing I ever got an email from you was some bullshit ass of shit that uh, you dropped about Jay Diggs talking about text messages, which he debunked that shit. And then, of course, uh, where, it, where it's at? Where what's that, motherfucker? I still don't know what you're talking about. This is the gun. With that being said, hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Make sure you forward this to Whack. Make sure he sees this so he knows. So he can talk all this high power shit. You know what I mean? Thank you, Whack. I'm not clout chasing, but you can't tend to give me clout, bro. I don't even know you like that. I'm just a skinny old Mexican man doing my own thing, bro. But you fucking with me like that, so it's a must that I fuck with you. It is what it is. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I honestly and truly believe in, and that's the coming together in unity of the raza and the brothers, man. See, whack, I can tap in and call motherfuckers. What are you doing, bro? Talking about motherfuckers that you talked to that you didn't. You ain't even got his phone number. Stop it. This is the gun.